but yeah, you know, I got about this guy named um, Matthew from Cerebi, and it's a pretty decent one. I'm testing out this new UU team that I have, and it's going against his um, overuse team. Now, uh, he hit miss with the hypnosis, and my shadow ball is obviously going to kill the gang guard just because Rose Raid's a beast, and I uh, love the power of Rose Raid. And, um, so just over to Kingdra. Probably think I'm specs, whatever. And then the line line, who is my mill tank. It's pretty cool. And, um, I know for a fact that I can take two dragon dances. So I went ahead and used the body slam just to test the damage to see if I maybe can get a pair off of it. And I was lucky enough to get a pair off the first. But this Cerebi noob has a, um, Lumberry, which is kind of different for his Kingdra. And, um,. They got rid of the paralysis, and I went for another body slam, hoping maybe I can get another paralysis and get my rocks up. But um, the second body slam isn't lucky enough to uh, get a crit or anything like that. So that just meant that his king true just was able to kill this guy, and really all it meant was that I could come in with something else and just revenge kill it, which is pretty cool. Now um, I don't think he gets the confusion off of it, so I know he's stuck on outreach. Over over to my uh, Dark Tree, and I hit him with the Sucker Punch, which is pretty cool. And uh, he goes over to his Jirachi, and I'm thinking maybe it's Scarfed, and I figure it's going to Ice Punch me. So I go over to my <coughs> my Coco, who was my Arcanine, and he tricks the Scarf onto me and took my life orb. It's kind of sucked. but And uh, the Flare votes just because of the fact that he isn't uh, Life Orb anymore, isn't going to do just enough to kill the uh, Jirachi, which means it lowered just a little bit of HP. I don't know how much I had, but it was pretty low. And um, the scarf can actually be kind of useful. But uh, he leaves it in for some weird reason. I just take it out with the second flare blitz, which is pretty cool. So that is um, another OU threat down. And uh, he brings in the Tiny to get the sand stream up. And I'm thinking he's going to stone edge me or, or do something weird like pursuit or something. So I'll go over here to my uh, this guy. And I'm thinking it's banded when he first hit me. Simply because of how much damage it did. And I didn't see the high volt recoil. Which is kind of weird, but then he dragon dances on Azumarill, which is fucking hilarious because that's just a free KO with Waterfall. Because uh, Azumarill's a beast, and uh, in case anyone can't tell, my Azumarill's nickname is Azumarill spelled backwards. Lera Musa. And, um, Waterfall makes a huge power stab and all that jazz. I was easily able to KO it. And he goes over to a Cacturn, and I don't know what to expect. I'm expecting maybe Sucker Punch or something. So I go over to my Cocoa Puffs, and, um,. He sets up a sub in my face, which kind of sucks. But uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, he's going to sucker punch me or some weird shit. But and, but he's got an intimidate in him, so he can't be too strong right now. And um, I just flare blitz as he source dances, which is pretty cool. You know, I, I don't see Cacturn that often, but Cacturn is one of my favorites. He's a really cool dark grass type, which is pretty neat. And uh, thanks to the plus one, <coughs> excuse me, the sucker punch is able to uh, KO my Coco, which kind of sucks. But because I know his only dark attack is Sucker Punch, I go over to my Demonize here with my Mr. Magius, and uh, we both set up a sub, which is kind of bad. It's going to rely on pure prediction on whether or not I'm able to KO the character. Now, um, right here, I think I just go ahead and hit in power, expecting him to maybe Sucker Punch. We both break the subs, but um, he doesn't, and he seat bombs. And I know right here what he's trying to do. He's trying to lure me into a false sense of security. Excuse me, thinking that uh, he's not going to sucker punch on me because he's and all that stuff. So he's going to um, try to sucker punch this turn. But I predicted that and went to another substitute just to so I could be safe. And uh, so his sucker punch fails. And that's just going to allow me to kill him with the hidden power whether he sucker punched me or not. And uh, if he subbed or anything, he would have died. If he did anything other than sucker punch, he was just going to die and leave my substitute up. So it was kind of smart of the Cerebi battler to take get rid of the sub before he left because that could have been problems for him. And really all he has left is a Gliscor, which is not really going to be too much of a threat to my uh, Miss Magius, because Miss Magius is more special based, and Shadow Ball is going to do a decent bit of damage. But um, I'm, I'm assuming it's a bulky sizzle, a Gliscor, not Scizor, and um, because of the little damage you do with the Shadow Ball, but it doesn't really bother me too much because I have Roserade and Azumarill left, you both have super effective moves, which would obviously KO it. And the Shadow Ball just uh, rapes the Gliscor down to a really low amount of HP so that my Roserade can come in and leave Storm even if it roosts or anything, it's just going to die. And um, it's pretty much the game, guys. 
Anyway, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, uh, check out the channel and everything. Hope you guys like this new UU team I'm using. I'm going to be doing some UU battles for a while, so if you want to challenge me, don't expect an OU battle. Expect an underused match. So, um, anyway, peace.